Hi, it's Linda. I'm coming to you here today after having quite a morning. And for those of you that may know me, you know my 50th birthday is coming up Friday. Well, <laughs> if you're not contemplating your life and things like that when you're a half a century or about to turn a half a century old, then, well, shame on you. <laughs> I've been contemplating that for quite a while and today was a rough morning. I had a vision the other day about the birth of the new earth and I've experienced the waves in dream, in dream state before but never had a waking vision like I did. It's in my last video if you didn't say it. It's only like two minutes long. Um, some of the things that I've been realizing about myself are coming up again to the surface, you know, to be cleansed and healed and released. We're all going through stuff. And to get on here and do videos of just teaching what I know, that's great to help people and share what I know. But I'm also here to let you know that I'm going through some stuff too. And it's not easy. It's not easy to be vulnerable. It's not easy to get over your your um, self a lot of times and since I'm a Taurus I am kind of stubborn so I don't like to associate myself with that I'm also a Pisces moon so I like to think that I'm overcoming some of the negative traits of Taurus but the stubbornness is still there and one of those things is in asking for help and I'm sure a lot of you a lot of us star seeds and way showers and angelics and all the beings that are here to help flip this planet we all have an issue or at least some of us i think a lot of us have an issue asking for help because we've probably been through similar stages depending on what circle of people you're hanging around with um, about whether or not people believe the things that you believe in or the things that you know to be true about yourself and about the 5D Earth and things that are coming or that are here and that we're manifesting. So as we're trying to become our higher selves and live that multidimensional life connected all the time, not just when we are meditating or not just when we think of it, but to try to actually manifest that into our waking reality has been a big challenge for a lot of us because there's been a lot of going back and forth and staying in a state of bliss and instant manifestations just hasn't manifested in, in this reality yet. However, for those of us that are going through struggles, I want to let you know I'm right there with you. I see it in the comments. I feel your pain. Um, and asking for help is one of the things that I'm trying to get better at and I just had to humble myself and swallow my pride and ask for help from a family member just this morning and it was because I did a little card reading for myself and I kept getting the same card over and over and if that's not a sign <laughs> and it basically was telling me to take action and I knew what the action was I knew what my guides and my um, higher self was trying to tell me to do but I just didn't want to do it because I've been trying to live this spiritual independent life and be a good provider for my kids and I've been following my spirit and I had my dream job or at least you know it was a stepping stone in my dream job I've been doing this since 1998 and a lot of times I had to put the spirituality on the back burner, but I had a private office for a little while. And then I gave that up to go back to school, which put me in tens of thousands of dollars in debt and student debt for a degree that I don't even use in psychology. Well, I mean, I guess it's helpful, but I was already counseling people spiritually when they would come in for Reiki sessions or healing sessions or spiritual mentoring. So I guess it helped and I'm going to choose to look at that glass as being half full instead of half empty. So it's coming, it's serving some purpose, but when it comes to bringing in a steady paycheck, nada, none of the jobs that I applied for have worked out. Well, 
I haven't even gotten calls back, to be honest. And I know my heart's not in that, but you know, you still need to do what you need to do. So I've been trying to follow all the prompts and all the synchronicities, and I'm struggling right along with you guys. The finances had gotten so bad to the point where I was late on rent this month. I was actually visualizing taking my tent and, you know, God forbid if I were to become homeless, then, you know, what would I do? So I was having all kinds of things. I'm like, nope, nope, I'm going to, I'm not, that's not going to happen. I'm going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. Spirit always provides. And I was able to get by for a while. I dissolved a partnership back in August, managing and as a, as a partner, a wellness center that I got to do everything that I ever dreamed of in this, in this work. And it was fantastic, but the situation wasn't right. And the partnership was coming to a natural ending. And so I had to listen to spirit. I had to listen to what I needed to do, but things started getting dire in the spring. So, um, you know, I'm right there with you guys. I understand. But that's not the point of this video. I'm not coming on here to ask for anything. I never, I never will. I mean, if I'll, I might say, hey, become a patron if you want to check this out, but it's for your benefit. I do weekly readings over there. So, you know, that I'm not, I don't like self-promoting. You, if you've seen my previous videos, you know, I don't do that. I don't like to do that. And when I do, it's usually because there's something of content or service that I can offer for you. Now, with that being said, there are things that I would like to say that we probably all need to be reminded of. I know I do. So if I'm going through this, I know there's someone else out there that's going through this. So what came about today was a sense of shifting my perspective to money and how, how I see and view money. And I saw a video yesterday that really helped and I've meditated on it this morning and I know that this is something that I've been working on and I have a working knowledge on the left side of my brain about how to see money as energy and see it that way. However, in shifting the perspective, seeing energy as love and looking, really getting to that what is my block? It's not a block that's coming to me. It's how am I creating the repel of the financial situation? How am I repelling love? And that came as a big aha because after my second divorce, I just shut those doors. Um, I kept saying I was leaving it cracked a little bit, but I thought I had found somebody that totally rocked my world and just it just didn't work out and it kept you know bad timing I guess I don't know I even dreamed about this person many 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 times but um, it just wasn't meant to be and eventually years ago I had to let go of this but it still it still hurts and when you go through those pains you shut your heart down to love to receiving love now my heart's open when I'm healing and helping and called to action and and that's where I thrive but allowing it receiving it to come back into my life that was a different story so in the recognition that if I'm blocking love in my life and it doesn't have to be a romantic partner that's not really what I'm talking about yes that's part of it but what I'm really talking about is how it's tied in with the finances and with the finances, there's a part of me that was always saying, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy somehow. Now my left side saying, no way, you're not saying that. But my right side saying, come on now, balance things out. This is what's going on. So using mantras and positive affirmations and sticking with that, I am worthy. I am ready to receive love in whatever way it comes to me through energy, whether it's the energy of another person, whether it's the energy of money or family or friends and relationships or my work, whatever that is, using those mantras is, you know, helpful. So it's, it's helping me to, when I start to go into that, oh my God, what's going on? 
So it's not just rent or paying the bills or being short and saying, I don't know where it's going to come from. Um, it's really looking at it, being honest, and then saying, you know, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on here? And, um, and if that's not enough, then my laptop, <laughs> that's on the fritz too. So, um, you know, when everything comes to a crisis, it kind of forces you to step back and say, okay, you know, I'm ready to listen. What is going on? So I'm sharing these things with you so I can give you the perspective because I also, I can see where the victim mentality would be. And a couple of videos ago, I think it was, um, I think it was a weekend update energy reading I did. I'm not sure if that's the video though, but I was talking about how uh, the victim mentality was going to come back up again. <laughs> and I'm laughing at this now because I can see where the victim mentality would have me saying, what's blocking me? What, what is out there stopping me from, from achieving what spirit wants me to do? because I feel like if I take action this way, it's not where I'm supposed to go. But if I keep following my heart and I keep doing and showing up and doing what I'm supposed to do, spirit will take care of me as spirit always has. The universe has always been there. So what is it that I'm seeing as a block? That's victim mentality. So when I turn that light back around on myself and I say, how am I repelling? It's not a block. We're energy. We attract and we repel. And if I'm repelling finances, then how is that related to me not receiving or not feeling worthy to receive the love that I'm worthy of? So in, in recognizing it's not victim mentality now, it's a shift in perspective. This is where my head's at today. So what I wanted to share with you guys, <laughs> that was very long winded, but I felt like a personal explanation is needed to get the point across and not just come out here and preach to you because you don't need that. We're all going through this together. So if you're in some kind of mind state that's similar or situations that are similar and you're starting to feel that sinking down and I've suffered from depression many years before and um, I choose to see things in the gratitude state now because I'm, I'm grateful I have this couch to sit on and I paid for it with my own money and I saved up two years, almost, well, last year, no, two years ago, coming up on two years. Well, I've had the couch for about a year and a half and I love it. It's comfortable. I paid for it with my own money. You know, that's great. I'm grateful that I have a beautiful mug to drink my coffee. I'm grateful that I have coffee. Um, grateful that I have pasta to cook and you know, I have an apartment right now. I have a roof over my head. I have a car that I can use even though it needs a lot of work I can still I can say those even those that's me sinking but being in the state of gratitude is I do have a car I do have people that love me I have um, children I have a grandchild I have you know heat and air condition and I I have you guys I have people that are actually listening to things that I want to bring forward to teach because that's me stepping into who I really am and who I have been becoming all this time. And the fact that you're here listening to me right now tells me, you know, that I do have worth and value. And I just wanted to thank you all. If you're new to the channel, this is not normally how I do videos, <laughs> but today it was just such an overwhelming need to just express my gratitude for everybody and let you know where my mind state is today is in total gratitude and just I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing and I'll, I'll keep you guys posted you know as things things get better they always do it's going to shift and supposedly May for Tauruses is supposed to be you know a brilliant month and I am ready I am ready for the energy to come and the love to come and receive in, in whatever way it shows up so I am done with the victim mentality. It's on a shelf. <laughs> and I, I know I've been positive. I've been, um, I've been showing up as positive. I've been doing that work, but it's, it's like the onion. You're peeling it layer by layer by layer. 
And, you know, it's also like a house that has many, 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 many coats of paint on the walls. And, you know, maybe, maybe there's some value in stripping all that paint down so that you can refurbish. And maybe it's not drywall. Maybe there's wood under there somewhere. And, and those wood walls might be priceless. So I don't know. I don't know if that's a good analogy, but uh, there's many ways to look at things. But if we simplify it into two, and we've been over here, maybe it's time to shift over here. So if I can do it, you can do it. It's staying out of fear, being over here to say, nope, nope, I'm gonna keep my eyes on the prize. And the prize is me following spirit in whatever way, whatever way that shows up, I'm showing up. So thank you for listening. Thank you for finding this channel. Thank you for supporting me and especially for all your loving, positive, encouraging words of support. You guys are the best. Thank you to the Higher Self channel and everybody watching me over there. And thank you so much just for being who you are, for showing up and to keep believing and to keep the faith because better things are right on the horizon. We're bringing it forward. We're birthing it together. So... Thank you again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.